Breakup Survival, 10 Tips on How to Deal with a Painful Breakup Unlike many of my other articles, I won't be covering how you can win your ex-lover back. Instead, this article will focus on 10 quick tips that you should keep in mind if you've just suffered a painful breakup. Point 1. You will recover, just like the rest of your body naturally heals and regenerates, so will your broken heart. Whatever you think now, you will get better. All healing processes have a start and an end, and the end may not be that far off. You will survive. Point 2. Don't be afraid to seek help if you think you need help, don't wait. It's not uncommon to require advice and you will only feel better as a result. Professional help or even just a friendly ear are both acceptable, and both will work wonders for you. Don't think you're cowardly or a wuss. In fact, it takes a lot of courage to ask for help. Point 3. Except that you have lost them, you may find it very tough accepting and believing that you've lost them, but you have. Remember that you've not necessarily lost them forever. You are strong enough to accept the loss until you either win them back or you get over them. Point 4. You're not the only one everyone experiences losses, it's a part of life. Pretty much everyone eventually becomes better too, right? Some people deal with it better than others. What you have to do is learn how you can recover from the loss as bravely and as smoothly as you can. Spending time with others who are in the same situation will most likely benefit you. Point 5. Will I ever love again? This is how a lot of people commonly feel when they've just lost their lover. It's alright to feel it, but try your best not to believe it. Not feeling attraction to anyone else is your body's way of protecting you from further pain, but eventually, you will allow yourself to love again. You will experience all the emotions of excitement, romance, love and desire on many more occasions throughout your life. Point 6. The healing process is a bumpy ride, it's not smooth. Some days, you are going to feel great, and other days, you'll feel like you might just die. Understand that this is normal and that it's a sign you're gradually healing. Point 7. Go easy on yourself, rest more, and get more sleep. Give your body a break and a chance to recover. Don't spend this time moping around and missing your ex. Don't only rest your body, but rest your emotional side too. Don't get into another deep relationship until you've fully healed from the first point 8. Keep going although resting more is a good idea, don't make it the only thing you do. Alternate between resting and doing an activity. Keeping yourself busy will keep your mind off of your ex-lover. Have a daily schedule so that you maintain order in your life. Point 9. No major decisions, because you are in a state of emotional stress, your judgment is going to be foggy. You're already suffering from a big change and you don't want to have to deal with any more. Set back any big decisions you were going to make, and, if required, Ask others to make the smaller decisions for you. Point 10. Find some survivors support from others who have been through the exact same situation as you will be very helpful. Not only will you know for a fact that you will eventually get through it and be happy, but you can find out how they've done it. Reading other breakup stories may also do you some good. A simple search for breakup forum should find you a few decent support communities. Whatever you do, don't give up on yourself. Surviving any loss takes time. The bigger the loss, the more time you'll have to give your body to recover. Just hang in there and before you know it, you'll be over it.